Introduction to guitar. Okay, uh, stage one, we'll start off with playing the chords G and C. First of all, you can notice that I've del deliberately numbered my fingers. Um, one, two, three, and four. Okay, just to let you know which finger is which. You don't count your thumb in this. Okay, so we don't regard the thumb as a finger. In the keyboard you do, in the guitar, that's one, two, three, four. You don't really use your thumb very much in guitar at all. Certainly not in the early stages, for sure. So, one, two, three. And also, you can see my fingers right in the middle of the fret. Not in the metal bar. That's not the fret. The fret is actually right in between. So here we go, there's G. And there's C. So to play G, you use your third finger. And the very bottom string. Okay, that's the thinnest string. And then C isn't on the bottom string, it's on the second string with the first finger. So, just draw your attention to what I'm doing in the right hand. I'm playing the three plastic strings, the nylon strings, and then change them between chord. Let's just practice that after four. One, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C. Practice that round and round again until you feel more confident and you don't feel as pressed for time with your, your finger movements. Stage 2. We've got the hardest and the easiest chords of the progression. So the hardest for this section is D and the easiest is E minor. Yes, that's right, I didn't even use my left hand. So I just strummed these three strings here. Okay. Uh, let's break down D because, as I said, that's the most difficult of the easy shapes. Um, so there's a D there. We're starting with the number one on the third string, second fret. So cutting up one, two, three, third string, and then not the first fret, but the second fret. And then you need to squeeze the finger number two in between that. So uh, just below that, so um, finger two is on the bottom string, second fret. So squeezing them together. It probably feel a wee bit awkward at first, but over time you won't think about it. And then when it actually is squeezed in is your third finger because it's in between them. So that's on the third fret of the second string. So right there. One, two, three. So you count up two and along three. There we go, there's a D. Break that down once again because it's really quite difficult. I'll say it's quite slow this time. So your first finger up on the third string. Second finger along with that on the second fret, but this time it's on the first string at the bottom first string and then we've got the third finger is on the third fret of the second string okay, try and show you that from some different angles again just playing the three nylon strings so E minor and then D try this in exercise one two three four E minor two three four two Three, four, E minor, and you can see I get ready for it. Three, four, put the E minor, and then already my movement's happening. So try and move your fingers in anticipation of what's happening next. Stage three. We're going to put all these chords together. You know G, you know D, E minor, very easy, and then C. Okay, so G, D, E minor, C. Um, I'll count this very slowly at first. One. Two, three, four. Three at the bottom, and then D. Two, three, E minor, easy chord. Get in place for the C, four, and back to G. Three at the bottom, and get this hard chord, D. Two, three, four, E minor. Two, three, four, C. Two, three, four. Again, uh, do that round and round, do it with the video, stop the video and repeat. Okay, um, we're now on to the big chords. G, D, E minor, C. You're like, oh my god, I'm having to learn all this new information, but really, you're just adding to what you already know. So first of all, let's do the G. So, um, easy G was that, third finger at the bottom. We now add, have to add two other fingers. So we have to put the second finger at the absolute opposite end of the... the um, strings, or the absolute opposite string, the thickest string, and then the first finger goes down one string below on the fifth string, second fret. So the second finger is once again on the third fret of the sixth string, that's the thickest one, and then the first finger just below that 
um, on the fifth string, second fret. Remember, your, your G is still there from before. So this will feel a little bit awkward at first. But what you need to practice is going from G to D now. By this stage, you already know D, there's no new information. Just spend some time practicing that. You don't even really need to practice your, your uh, strumming. See the strumming hand, I'm doing nothing all the while, I'm doing that. So just allow your memory to absorb those shapes and it'll become what's known as muscle memory. That's just when your fingers do it automatically without even thinking about it. Just like riding a bike. Okay, G to D. And then... Now I'm going to show you E minor, but I'm going to relate it to the chord of G. So you've got G, E minor. All you do is take off your second and third fingers and then you put your second finger down below where your first finger is for G. So that's on the fourth string, second fret. So up one, two, three, four, and then the um, other note is just there, which is on the second fret of the fifth string. So G to E minor. Now that's not the movement you're making. I'm just trying to relate it for you. Okay, so E minor. So try those chords. Try and just practice those three together. Particularly, particularly D to E minor. Get used to that movement. And then put that together. G, two, three, four. Moving in advance, just get your fingers prepared. Three, four. So G, two, three. See, I'm moving ahead. Move ahead of the beat. Four. Okay. And last but not least, the C. So you already know the C from there, but once again, I'm going to relate it to another chord. And thankfully, I'm relating it to the previous chord this time, so that'll make it easier. So, what's happening there? Have a look at what's not moving. It's, as you probably have seen, the second finger doesn't move out of position. It moves a little, changes posture, but it's staying, staying in the same place. Okay, so let's break that down. So what to do first, E minor, move that first thing, finger down to the easy C. You know that position from before. It's down on the first fret of the second string. And then create a, like a diagonal line almost. Your third finger goes on the third fret of the fifth string. E minor to C. Then, as always, you should sound these out, strum them, make sure you're not creating any, any sounds like that. And then I would suggest two, three, four, practicing just E minor to C. E minor, two, three, and then to C. Okay, let's try that all together. One, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. And remember, move ahead. Two, three, four, two, three, four. Okay, practice that round and round. Um, I'll do it another twice just now. You can practice with the video, um, rewind and do it again until you feel more confident for the next stage. So, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, back to G. Moving ahead of the chords. Two, three, moving already. Two, three, four, anticipation. Two, three. Anticipate it, but try obviously do it in time, like I didn't do it then, there. Right, um, finally, we're going to look at the strumming hand here. So I was playing for G, everything. D, I'm only using those four strings there. I don't play these two because they don't belong to the chord. So from the first, the, the, the lowest steel string, and then E minor, everything, and C. Just play everything for that as well. Okay. So stage five. G, D minor, C, but we're drawing attention to the right hand, so I'm going down, down, up. I'll do that another twice through, uh, play along. If your left hand is not ready, I'll try and zoom out. So if I'm going three, four, three, four, three, four. I was trying to deliberately make my left hand a bit slower. If your left hand's not ready, that doesn't matter, because that's the key how you get fluency. So if you continue to play, continue to strum, your right hand will dominate and your left hand will be less hesitant. 
So through time your left hand will just speed up and move at first. It will move more quickly. Sometimes you're just a bit more anxious. You're like, oh, get all these positions, oh, the stress of it. Just relax and start to concentrate your right hand and then your left hand will just go into autopilot. That's, that's the name of the game. Another twice. Three, four. Strings for D, three, four, three, four. Okay, and the extension for this is to add a, an extra part to the rhythm, which is down, down, up, up, down. That's an extension, you don't have to do that one. Um, just doing the down, down, up is sufficient if that's where you get at. Good luck.